<laughs> Let me guess, he went in the vent, didn't he? Hey there, and welcome back to By the Hour, where we are finishing up the Night 2 section of the games, right? Where we have Revenge at Troy's. Venture into Troy's facility in this third installment of the Revenge at Troy series as you uncover the truth behind his forsaken past. Though I have no idea what in the world they mean by third installment, I'm as lost as you on that part. This is by Greg Games and Sunken Studios. Alright, tips. Click around to navigate and interact. Press S to return to your previous location. Press X to hide these tips. So, this is pretty much just kind of like a click, uh, point and click free roam experience, it seems like, maybe. Oh, oh, whoa, that's quick. Okay. Let's go inside. Tip. Be careful. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, find a key. Floor one. Okay. It's kind of disorienting the way we move like that. Like, it's so fast paced. Here we have something. An animatronic that's kind of like chained up. Maybe I don't need to worry about it for now. Ooh, what about here? Got another chain. Ooh, there we go. And now we can open the gate. Floor two. Hold shift to hide. Interesting. Press space to start the elevator. Okay, let's start the elevator. I'm not really sure what our main goal is here, but okay, this is also kind of disorienting to look at. Oh, I did not know there was a endoskeleton here. So let's see what our next goal is. Find the code. Um, okay, that was weird. I never had to hide at all, but let's see. Click around and navigate. S to return. A and D to look into cells. Press 0, 9 at the door to enter code. Okay. So I get the idea. These are the cells. Is there any, like, way behind me? Hmm. Seems like we have to keep going this way. 8, 6. Ooh, hold on. There, it looks like there's a 1. Eight, f one four eight six interesting actually oh wait there's even more numbers that's kind of confusing which way would I put the order at if I were to go right left it's one it would be one four one four eight six one four eight six nine two let's see. One, four, eight, six, nine, two. That, I actually got that. I actually got that. Okay. It really was right to left. That's good. Click around to nav- Oh. Click around to navigate and interact. V to toggle night vision. Uh, press hold shift to hide when Troy is near. Press X to hide these tips. Now we're headed to floor three. Oh. 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 Is he gone? I saw him. Like he was literally right in front of me for a second. We okay. We got our way through. Oh, okay. Floor three. Now we have a sit and survive section. Okay. Uh, click around to interact. Maintenance panel to regenerate power and oxygen. Seal vents to stop Troy. Play audio to lure Troy out of short vent and hallway. Wind music box to contain Crawford. Here is the cameras. So we're like in a FNAF 3 kind of situation, clearly. This is to restore power. And we, all, we can also restore oxygen. But I believe that's probably like an alarm type thing. Now, we have, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So here's, oh, wait, wait. oh, okay, I'm guessing that's Crawford. Camera three is where we wind music. Got that. This is Troy, I'm guessing, and we lure him through the cameras, right? Camera 5... Is this hallway, I'm guessing? Uh... We're gonna, we're gonna have to try and figure, find our way to figure this out, because this is 
kind of confusing. Well, not really. Actually, Hi. let's see. Can this this is this luring him? Where is he? Uh, where'd he go? I mean, I'm trying to lure him, but it's not really working. Or maybe I can't lure him yet, because it said to lure him out of the hallway and a short vent. So maybe I'm not meant to do that yet. Maybe... Oh, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Restore oxygen. Okay, bingo. Let's wind music a little bit. Vent is clear. Let's see, did that work? Yeah, okay, whatever I did, it lured him back. So that somehow worked. Let's just focus on regening our power. And going back. Play audio again. It see okay, so I think camera two is kinda like our Oh, darn it. No, please come back. Damn. Okay, let me let me look at the instructions again so that I can actually like understand when I'm, I don't think it works like the spring trap lure. I think you only lure Troy out of the short vent and the hallway. So we so so here we sealed vent, right? Here's the short vent, which is by camera four, I think. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell where camera four is. I think it goes from camera two. Camera one is when you know they're entering the short vent. So, in other words, if they're in camera one or camera five, then you use the lure. I think that's kind of the idea they're going for here. So, camera five and camera one are the dangerous cameras. If you can just keep Troy out of those cameras, then I think you're good. At least that's the best way I can understand it. Let me guess, he went in the vent, didn't he? I need to check the vent. I I didn't think about the the, the vent. Because I think the vent... Let, let me see the, Let me see again. Where is the vent connected to? It's connected to the camera. But see, how would you know, though? How would you know? You just have to check, I think. I think you just have to check. To make sure that they're not in the vent. I guess my main part is... This is the hallway, right, that literally pointing downwards. This is camera two, the very edge. If they're not in camera four or camera two, I think we use the lure or check the vent. I think that's kind of the idea you want to go for. Hello. Oh, I might have used that the wrong time. Let me check the vent. Oh, play audio. Pull them back. You don't want to use the lure too early like that, or else, you know, you run into that situation where you accidentally put yourself in danger. Let's wind up a little bit. He hasn't entered the vent yet. Oh boy. Or. Let's go back. He's already trying to leave. Play audio, check the vent. We're good. As long as he's not in that vent, I think we'll be fine. He hasn't really tried entering it. I don't know if that's because I'm using the lure super often. Or if I'm just getting lucky and he's not trying to enter the vent. Hello. All music. Watch vent. Alright. Recharge power again. And we should be done with floor three. And the question is, how many more floors are there? Five. Uh, call them back in. Bingo. How is it still 5 a.m.? That's not what I meant to do. Come on. All right. 5 a.m. goes to 6 a.m. And congratulations. I'm not gonna lie, this will be very anticlimactic for me if if it's over. Oh, it's not. Destroy Troy's facility. Uh, okay. Let's see how we can do that. 
Oh, uh, whoa. Hey there, Troy. How you doing? Oh. Oh, I did it. There you go. Credits. I don't know. Honestly, because I, I saw the size of the game and it, was it a bit deceptive or not deceptive, but like, did it, did it set things up a lot more than I was anticipating? Yes. But that's, you know, pretty nice uh, mix of what's it called nice mix of point and click free roam and sit and survive though obviously story and lore i have no clue what story and lore they are even trying to hint at because i've never heard of the series so i have no idea really but overall pretty fun little experience right i would i don't know uh i think Mainly, I wasn't sure what to expect. It was mainly like what in terms of gameplay like the free room sections were pretty much just trying to find like little items here and there You know, you had that one little segment where you actually had to hide from Troy, which is pretty nice And then in the sit and survive section, it is pretty much like FNAF 3, right? Lure away from the camera and You have a music box, which is a little bit different, but I mean that's FNAF 2, but regardless that has been Revenge at Troy's now, since we pretty much finished up with Night 2, right? We are now gonna move on to one of the games from Night 3. We have Rotting in Thy Mind, Winter Arc, and Fred Fears. Okay, so let's see Rotting in Thy Mind by Radical Rendy. As what's left of your material self gets recrafted for the will of your employers, your consciousness is safely held in a state between the living and dead, scheduled for a complete format after you've been fully rebuilt. Though, as time passes, you become increasingly more aware that the dog in your dreams keeps on lurking in the back of thy mind. Interesting. A game by Radical Rendy. 11 megs, but it already has a very interesting premise. Disclaimer, this game contains a high dose of flashing lights and scenes that may result in, that might be disturbing or nauseating to the faint of heart. Play at your own risk. Okay. Rise and sign, agent number 11134982816. You are currently being transported to Sector Balasti Balatis 141-B1. Your body has been found yesterday at 5.51 p.m. Lunar time. Is that what they're trying to say? EST Lunar? The lower half of your body was missing. That must have really hurt. Be not afraid. Your death is not permanent. You, along with all the others, will be recrafted for better use. For the good of all of us. As part of your contract, your current memories will be erased once the reconstruction procedure has been finalized. Though we may not be able to control your thoughts during said process, your consciousness has grown too dark for even our finest machines to tame. Tell us, how many bodies have you claimed? I, we could actually put a random number. Let's say 15... 1... 1... 5... 15... That, uh, that's a lot uh, like oh, uh, what 15,000 bodies give or take <laughs> apparently your entry will be submitted shortly to our nearest postal facility today you will fight with yourself what is left of you your consciousness will be sent on a trip to memory lane a distorted one to be exact don't worry the reconstruction process only lasts around four minutes so you'll be out of it pretty quickly do not let your past memories take a hold of your mind, or you will be terminated. Break a leg. Huh. Alright, I like this premise already. They mentioned Lunar, so is this like a moon colony of sorts that this is all taking place on? Rotting in thy mind. Nice title. Ooh, here we go. The, the, the screens, I think that's meant to be saying screens. The screens are your best friends. Keep an eye on what they tell you to do and you'll be sent. The dog wants the bone. Ooh. Picture, fire, treat. Huh? Whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Picture? 
picture. Oh, I see. I have to follow the instructions of the... of this. Huh. Okay, so I have to follow the instructions based on what the screens show me. That is interesting. I wonder what happens if you get it wrong. Oh, I saw that. All right, so it seems like you have to be you have to be pretty quick in order to be able to respond. You can literally see it. There's like a dog. Why is it a dog though? Why is a dog? A, you know, like why is that our monster? Specifically, our monster. I mean, because you see, everything is kind of based around a dog, except for fire. I have no idea what the hell that should mean. But we have treats and picture. And also, we're getting, it's a, we're getting like very blurry here for a second. I think it's because I'm looking down. I don't know. I don't know why. It's like we're like, we're having trouble seeing or something. Something's just orienting us. Maybe it's the reconstruction process. But boy, this dog is real active, doesn't it? It really wants that bone. Still, since this is pretty much like a matching game right now, it's nothing too complicated. I just have to be quick. And that obviously mess up somehow. I do like- Oh! They tried f what the hell? Treat. Wait, what the hell? Wait, is that a finger? Bullet. Oh, the, the icons are changing. What? Not only that, but the, the responses are quicker. That is a finger. What the hell? I can't let myself get distracted, though. Oh, shoot. I, I As soon as I say that, I literally slow down. We have to do this for four minutes. So... They don't give us a timer or anything, so we have to be vigilant. And careful. What are you saying? Oh, it's quick. Oh! Bullets? Noose? I don't know what that was. That was like a meal. It is like a meal. What the hell? Oh. Stop sh <laughs> Why am I constantly shooting it? This is a really odd game. Our mind must be scrambled. Oh! Has it been four minutes already? Let's see. Welcome to the land of the living, Agent. Your fight has been proven successful. But there's still much more to be done. A new new mission is ready for you. Suit up. Okay. Thank you for playing. Die again. I do want to see the jump scare for this one. I'm actually I'm kind of intrigued. Or not or not even just that. I want to see what happens if you get it wrong. That's a cool, neat little game. I let the you know it's based off matching, but style wise, really cool. What if you choose the wrong one? Ooh. You get it angry. But does something happen? Let's see. That's twice now. Maybe third time does charm? Oh, jeez. You have been terminated. I think I might honestly leave it at that and then cover the last two games and then the other video. And then another video, rather. Now, real quick about this game, I love the style for it, right? It's a nice hand-drawn, like, hand-made style, right? I think, like, in general, gameplay really simple, right? We're matching what's on the screen. For this, it's all about, it's more, like, based on the environment, right? Though, I'm trying to understand what the environment's trying to tell. Like, for one, why is it a dog that's attacking us, right? Because we're, 
we're witnessing our memories. So I wonder why in our memories the dog is the one that's trying to like kill us essentially. That's interesting. And also from like a storytelling perspective, right? Our character was found dead, half their body missing. Maybe we were mauled by some sort of wild dog somehow. And maybe that's why the dog is attacking us in our memories. This is pretty much the creature that killed us originally. But in general, I, I like the... I don't know, it's a very nice, like, kind of dark style that they have going on with, like, the ambience. I do like it, especially, like, that middle point where everything gets more intense throughout the night. And... You literally have that like disorienting light for a second that just like shocks you as everything gets faster. It's pretty cool. It's kind of ominous, mysterious, pretty cool, pretty unique. So that's pretty much my main thoughts on this game. So that is Rotting in Thy Mind by Radical Rendy. And obviously the previous game was Revenge of Choice by Greg Games and Sunken Studios. Now, what do we have for next time? We have Winter Arc. 86 megs by Noodle Prime and Ollie. And we finally have Fred Fears by Autumn and Co. But of course, with all that said, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's me know you're enjoying the content and want to see more of it. The game will be in the description below as always. And with that said, I'll see you in another video. Take care.